tools that can help us navigate them. And last night we talked about being consistent and persistent and trustworthy and leaning into that mundane stuff that we have to do every day. And I mentioned in the book that Dell checked on our kids every night. Well, he also wrestled with our kids every night until they moved out of the house. And remember, two of mine are girls. So, but our youngest daughter sent a text to her dad not that long ago when she was on her way home from grad school. And she said, it's just three words. And it said, tonight we wrestle. <laughs> it took me a long time to understand that that wrestling, which sounded a lot like fighting at the time, was actually bonding them together. You know, in scripture, Jacob wrestled with God. And we know that Jacob was far from perfect. But he got one thing right. He held on to God. He was flawed, but he had faith and tenacity. And he knew the one thing more dangerous than wrestling with God was letting God go. And the timing of Jacob's wrestling match was no coincidence. It happened on the hardest night of his life, on a night he was scared to death he was going to die. And if Jacob could wrestle with God when he hit rock bottom, then surely we can bring our honest feelings to him too.